Later on in the hour, we'll be looking at Obama's campaign promise to put a stop to the constant anxiety of simply being alive. But right now, let's check in with Ron Paul, who arrived today at a rally in Akron, Ohio, in his trademark huffing, puffing, wheezy, whimsical, steam-powered jalopy. In a speech, Congressman Paul told the crowd that the U.S. government is a lot like his old jalopy, way too big, overly complex, wasteful, and Ron Paul is the only one who knows how to fix it. With analysis, we're joined by David Baradale. Hi, Andrea. Hi there, David. Ron Paul is polling in single digits, but judging from today's rally, the supporters he does have are very devoted to him. That's right. You really see the passion he inspires when he rides up in that crazy jalopy and talks about withdrawing from the UN and then disappears in a big cloud of steam at the end of his speech. And now Amazing. experts say there is essentially zero chance Congressman Paul can win the presidency. So. Why do these voters keep supporting him, David? Well, I think Ron Paul offers something other candidates don't. A sense of wonder, huh. the chance to imagine what if we had multiple currencies? What if schools and hospitals were privatized? What if actually terrorists did not blow up the World Trade Center? Well, they have fun with the magic of it all, right? Exactly. They love using their imaginations to envision a president who doesn't talk to foreign leaders and rides around on a hot air balloon. That's right. That balloon, he rode that to a fundraiser last month. Right. He told Donald there, the balloon represents all the hot air in Washington and ballooning military spending. But are stunts like this helping Ron Paul gain new supporters? Take that town hall debate in New Hampshire where he argued his points through a cadre of trained singing cats. Right. I mean, I can't even recall what he said the Honestly, cats stood for. Honestly, I, I, I can't either, but hmm. at the end of the night, when the cats jumped one by one into David, his sack, uh, his supporters gave him David, a standing uh, ovation. I, I hate to cut you off, but we actually have some breaking news about Congressman Paul coming into the war for the White House bunker right now. Let's go over to Jason Copeland in the Democra Grid, Jason. Yeah, Andrea, this is really big. Apparently, Ron Paul has emptied the city of Akron of its entire populace. What happened? Well, from what we can uh, gather from our sources, after finishing his stump speech earlier today, Paul drove to the edge of town on his jalopy and blew a single ethereal blast on a strange horn of some sort, after which every man, woman, and child started following him out of the city. Is there now, any... We, now, just one second. This is quite dramatic. Take a look at this camera phone footage of that happening. You can hear the crowd complaining about Washington and insiders and the high price of gas, and then uh, the video cuts out. Is there any indication as to where Ron Paul may have taken these well, people? Well, you know, the only clue that we have right now is a scroll that he posted on the door of Akron City Hall. It reads, seems as though the people of Akron have disappeared into thin air, much like the Federal Reserve's accountability after the dissolution of the gold standard. Amazing. Very curious. Okay, Jason, we need to take a break, but we will get back to you as soon as we return. All right, now we'll also be discussing Mitt Romney's decision to invite the middle class to a meet and greet at his estate in New Hampshire. Stay with us.